Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow. Be hey. Capricorn, you're first. So we're going to pick up on uh, your person, whether past, present, or future. And just kind of figure out um, what the predictions are. Some very intense predictions. Very intense predictions. Oh, Wow, that's amazing. Um, I think for a lot of you, that will represent um, a renewal, a restart. Um, for some of you, it could also represent that when you go and seek new opportunity in the world, whether it's changing a job, um, changing an approach to things, just making a change in your own personal life, you will find that it will bring you closer to the right kind of person that you're meant to partner with, um, that you're meant to work on things with that are deeper than just romance or the physical. Um, the universe is calling you to think about a partner in your life whom you can actually accomplish things with, not just sleep with, not just be with romantically, but actually accomplish things with that can be on your mind. The pentacles, you know, do rule your earth sign, and it is a big signal here as to what's happening in your current connection or what you need to look for in your future connection. There is a huge question mark with the moon card showing up here about how exactly you're supposed to embark upon this. You've asked yourself this a thousand times. You've asked the universe, how do I find people with whom I am equally yoked? How do I make that happen? How do I search for someone who's not just into me for the physicality or for the messing around, but into me for the long term? It's been a source of anxiety for you, um, but it's also showing that there's someone in your past who is now single and regrets, yeah, regrets any sort of leaving you hanging, leave you, leaving you out in the cold. It is stressing them out. Yeah, the nines are popping out, uh, very independent numbers, the nine of wands, the nine of pentacles sort of popping out and saying this person has taken quite uh, a beating on their own. Um, it is better with you than without you. This person is reflecting on that and it's really making a lot of sense in terms of what I'm telling you about looking for people with whom you are equally yoked. Um, in terms of moving forward, Right now, you appear to be at a standstill with your person, still sorting out a couple of issues. Um, it doesn't necessarily have a bad connotation or it doesn't need to anyway, even if it is terrible. The point is that sometimes the universe brings you stillness so that you can reflect on growth, so that you can reflect on the seed here that needs to be planted. Or to go back in some cases, for some of you speaking of the past and the Six of Cups, and to reflect on, you know, whether your investment in this person has been worth it so far. Some of you need to ask these practical questions is what the tarot is saying. Not just the romantic ones, but the practical ones, because you are kept in the dark. You are really in the dark right now about how to extract your happiness, even though you have someone in mind or you have a goal for someone in mind for your future. And it's so funny, the sun card comes out again manifesting happiness again talking about the seeds that you are planting again talking about whom you're equally yoked with 
Um, for some of you, this is bringing a sweeping change. This means that those who, whom you've been connected to or who have left you hanging for a while, where the opportunities have become stale, the universe is breaking them apart piece by piece, limb by limb. That is just the cold, ruthless universe, or so it seems. So it seems, because when you're going through a tunnel, it seems what? Very dark. But when it comes out, when it takes you out of that tunnel, it starts to shine very brightly. And you're like, oh, I was going through something, right? So that I could get to the other end. In order for me to get from one point to another point, that is the chariot card, I have to go through that bridge, that tunnel, that, you know, that escape that gets me from one place to the other. And so any dark times you really have to take advantage of, especially with this magician now coming out, this is definitely deep. This is a very deep reading. Almost all major arcana cards, you know, the moon, the hanged man, the sun, the tower, the magician, all of these saying to you that your power is now, your time is now, your investment is now. And it is talking about in the sweeping changes, in, this, in the months to come, there will be sweeping changes, particularly to remove someone in your life that is causing you a bit of a stagnancy. Instead, even if, me, even if it means independence and aloneness for a while, right? If you're married, you can still be independent, you can still be alone. Instead, what this is saying is that in order to reach this zenith, this happiness, some things will have to be swept out. Some people will have to be swept out. Your person is thinking deeply about whether it's worth taking action, whether it will lead to one of two things. Will it lead to sun and happiness or will it lead to a breakage somewhere? So if they're not responsive, it's because they're trying to decide. It's because they don't quite know yet. This manifestation is still active for them. They're still trying to think. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> wow, unbelievable unbelievable this is literally them trying to decide it's a strategy card it's you know is it going to go this way is it going to go that way so your person is still very much coming into that trying to decide like i just said and the cards have come out to confirm it um for some of you this person feels like you know they're starting to get a little left out left in the cold um you know they don't want to lose you i'm getting that draw that pull this is a little bit, in some cases, is starting to get desperate because it's like they're clinging because they don't, they know that something is fizzling out. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're taking action. It just means that, you know, they feel that whatever loss it is, whatever pain it is you're inflicting, they are definitely feeling it and they don't really want to. Um, they find that things get better with you around. Um, but I'm sure you're probably saying you don't want to have to mother or father anybody, um, at least not anybody whom you're dating or interested in romantically or connected to in marriage or a relationship or situationship. Um, I knew this four of swords was going to come out. I, I was just kind of saying that I knew it was going to come out because it doesn't seem for some of you that you are in touch um, as often as possible with this person. It seems um, like this person tends to go into their, you know, space and withdraw a little bit, take this time, particularly with a hanged woman or hanged man present. They go into, you know, and just internalize and interpret everything that is said. Now, um, I do see prediction wise, you know, that once that evaluation is done, once the strategy happens, I, I do see an apology. I see them taking it a little bit more softly with you. Um, but for right now, I see them being a little bit guarded and just kind of saying, no, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, force Capricorn to settle. Yeah. And I don't want to settle myself. So they are doing their own due diligence to say, hey, you know, I'm turning upside down like that hanged man or that hanged woman, and I'm making these decisions 
about my life and about yours. You see, they're taking, they're, you know, this is a duality here that makes so much sense. The moon with the sun, the two of wands coming out, that duality here that this person is really um, taking into consideration. Now, this devil card incidentally refers to, um, it refers to things that are of carnal desire. It, it, ref, it also could refer to things that are of um, obsessive or addictive traits, things that, you know, you're starting to get obsessed about. You're not releasing very easily. You know, they're starting to probably get to you. This trait, as you see it here, is also representative of Capricorn in tarot. But you know, I don't want you to. I don't want you to take it as something demonic or something evil or anything like that. This is just, you know, a way to describe that feeling you get when you're naughty. That feeling you get, you know, right before a rump. Um, that intensity that you might feel about someone or something that drives you a bit nuts. You know, this person could be driving you nuts a little bit, but you're still crazy about them. You're still sort of invested. You're still going there. And, um, you know, but at the same time, I want to say I'm proud of some of you because regardless of how invested you are in your person, you've decided recently probably to put yourself first and I concur with that decision. Um, some of you are doing so at the sake of um, or for the sake of family or long-term visions that you have for family and community around you, just growth, really building um, there's a conversation that's upcoming between the two of you that really seems to be led by you because it's showing up on your side. I don't know if they're going to be receptive to it. I think some of you, for some of you, they have not all, I mean, you've already had this conversation and they've not been receptive to it. So it, this can get really cyclical. And I feel like this feels like a familiar reading for you where you've had the moon, the sun, and the stars, and you've encompassed this person's whole universe or vice versa. And yet that has what constituted the, the world. You see this world card? You guys sometimes will go round and round. You break up to make up. You stop speaking only to start speaking again. Is this person invested in you? Absolutely. It looks like they are, but it does look like you two have challenges and it looks like you talk a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I think, well, with this tower card coming out, um, there is a disaster, you know, there, there is some breaking that has happened uh, that has caused you to, to stop speaking hermit card, you going inside of yourself. Um, you often think about them. I think obsessively. Yeah. You rewind the tape, you replay the conversation, especially if it was an argument, you wonder if you were too harsh. The universe is saying, listen, sometimes things have to break. Sometimes things have to explode a little bit before they can be put back together. So that's fine. Um, I think mean, both of you are still sort of invested in this. You're both, you're both pulling the Knight of Cups, although someone here could essentially be thinking of two options, two people that they could be interested in and they could you know, really invest their time in. Um, I think you're looking forward to reconciliation, Capricorn. Yes. Yeah. I think it's going to happen. Um, if you've not been speaking, uh, you know, absolutely where your person begins is where you end. So you guys come full circle after a lot of drama. I think you end right back here, um, with the opportunity, I should say with the opportunity to restart. Whether you actually restart, that's where free will comes in. But the universe is acknowledging that something could have toxically happened here and that you are seeking reconciliation after a long period of silence. And if you've not been silenced, then you've been thinking about something that has been unresolved in this connection for a while that you've been wanting to talk about. The outcome is good and could result in reconciliation. Um, and it could be for your healing. It's also assuring you that when things happen to break or shake up a situation, it's because things need to rise to the surface and to be talked about in a very honest way. Okay. So the next time we're going to do will be Aquarius. I'm going to go get some, um, some coconut oil as well. Okay. Let's get some coconut oil and maybe crack a window a little bit. to brighten this. 
this video. for some moisturization honey all right and now we will move on to the next sign which is Aquarius this isn't live so I can like relax a little bit all right we have Aquarius showing up here how are you doing Aquarius you're the next sign up um, well, let me see. That should show. Aquarius, let's do some... Um, Aquarius, let's do some predictions today. Um, just kind of get a gauge of, like, what's coming. Uh, past, present, or future, you know? So if you have a past person and that person shows up, fine. Um, if you have a future person and that person wants to show up, that's fine as well. Probably turn on some of these lights. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So, who's showing up today, and what message can we tease out? Oh, wow, that's really lovely. Um, there's the Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. That's really lovely. Um, I think the universe is encouraging you to go for it. Go for the love you seek. Um, it is putting your mind at ease. Some of you have been asking, oh, did this person ever love me? There's somebody in your past um, who's coming up and saying, oh, you know, I was steady. Um, I may have been the better choice. You may be thinking or could have thought about choosing somebody else, but my love for you was ideal. It was real. It was not... Um, wasn't made up. Sorry, I think this, <laughs> this coconut oil I put on my lip is now getting inside. All right. Um, it's a great card to start with. It looks like one or more of you blocked each other at some point. Um, you know, and if you're above that, if you're above the petty petty, then it feels like Somebody here probably struggled to express their emotions, and that's why they probably ended up single. Probably end up ended up, you know, dealing with things on their own at the very best. Um, you know, not knowing that maybe reaching out, working collaboratively, could have helped. They didn't know that, you know, um, and so. Let me see. Well, certainly this is coming back around. This looks like several cycles or, um, you know, turns have happened. And certainly with the Six of Wands energy, it is possible that somebody is certainly coming back around. Let me sort of shut down that window because it's probably too noisy for you. Hang on. So yeah, I mean, this person might be in a little bit of a pickle without you, Aquarius. I think it's better for them, uh, let's see, it might be better for them to work things out. So they're spying and waiting to see how you react first before they react. You know, that's the spycraft card. So they want to see before they take that risk, before they put, you know, too much energy into it. They want to know if it's worth it. Um... They think you're absolutely fantastic. And, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, it's like in this energy, they really feel to me like um, they appreciate the way you invest in other people. They appreciate the way you, um, you give of yourself. It's what makes you beautiful to this person. It's not just your physical traits or attributes. 
it's also like your internal self. That's why you stand out. In this person's eyes, you literally stand out. Nine of Pentacles energy, like a peacock amidst other birds. Whether you're male or female, there's something different about you that they know, you know, they can't get easily. And so they struggle to be vulnerable to that, um, you know, to that energy that they're picking up. Because honestly, I mean, Aquarius, this person hasn't had somebody like you in the past. You know, they don't know. They haven't seen this before. Um, with the high priestess, I do see that some of you, this person could, um, mm, mm, if you, if you are single and looking, you might attract somebody who's very, very deep, very much in their mind, um, very much open to, um, things that are meditational yoga spirituality all of those things and if you're dealing with somebody now they could be using silence as a tool for getting your attention they could be using it as a way to say you know what if aquarius re <coughs> reacts to my silence then i'll know that aquarius is still interested in me so it's a very status-based silence this is someone who possibly you know, could have walked away and left you hanging at some point. And, you know, that's crucial to understanding this person. Why did, why they do that? Why they, you know, why they're flukes in some instances. Um, you know, you have to be careful that you don't make assumptions about people because it looks like there's an insecurity here that's financial for this person. If they see you as someone who is abundant or who has the potential to be abundant, you know, like this empress, but they can't give even when they work on their own, what they'll do is they'll sabotage the connection and they will, you know, they'll still be missing you, but they'll sabotage the connection, stay silent and present as though they are fine. Meanwhile, they're like breaking down inside. And so, you know, there is a complex here of giving with that six of pentacles again coming out and like i said watching watching you to see what actions you take before they decide on what actions they will take it's like tit for tat with this person sometimes i think um i think in the future uh this is predicting that um you're attracting a very deep connection that sometimes doesn't feel like it measures up to you um, but you will be bonded a lot via dreams and psychic energy um, you also are oh this is predicting a reconciliation with someone if healing takes place this is a reconciliation this is also talking about you working on yourself your physical appearance and that attracting the people that you want in your life winners so to speak people who also take care of themselves physically and otherwise it changes your social circle it establishes you as a leader in a particular group um so whatever plans you have for that those will come to pass i think you're taking on a new role somewhere you're clearing the air with your person and a truth might be uncovered as a result of the healing that you've gone through, even if that truth is about you. Um, for some of you, as you start to really up your game, you might consider that, you know what, if this person that you're attracting, first of all, if you're single and you're attracting a ghoster, that's not going to go very far because you're going to be too much. Yeah, this is too elevated, you're gonna be too much more elevated than that. If you're connected to somebody and you receive a truth about them um, that does not bring you healing, I think it will end up in a disconnect. So, yeah, I mean, I think you are on your boss stuff, Aquarius. You are really, really looking good. These two Empress cards coming out and really saying, hey, keep going, keep looking great, uh, keep working on what it is that you want to work on. Um, and don't let other people's opinions 
thoughts, inputs, all of that unnecessary stuff weigh you down from your larger mission. The cards are saying that you are bigger than that. Um, the cards are also saying you should heal from people in your life who met you with a lot of baggage. So just as this person is spying, it's so funny, just as this person is spying on you, you're spying on this person as well. Well, I guess we can tell because you're watching tarot. You have to decide, you're coming to a decision about the pace of this. You're wondering whether the pace of this is something that you can work with. And so a lot of you are doing a lot of research, spying, just to kind of see, you know, what will move you away from this person or bring you closer I think this person has a habit of leaving. Uh, they have a habit of, you know, keeping a lot of brokenness or brokenness to themselves because they don't want to play themselves. They don't want to have to apologize, but they are sorry. They're sorry for whatever it is that has ruined their connection with you. And they, they want you to know that you are up there, like you rank up there for this person. The issue is whether they rank up there for themselves because they have this 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 um, question in their mind about whether or not they can give on the same level that you expect, right? And so right now, this person is a very independent operator. They're operating independently. They could have, like I said, one or more of you could have blocked each other. So that's something that, you know, to think about. Uh, for the future, I do see some uh, reconciliation, even if briefly, I see reconciliation happening. So use that opportunity wisely and figure out what you want to say when you do reconcile. Okay? All right. Pisces, it's your turn. Hello, Pisces. Um, we want to do some pred predictions for you. What's coming up? Who's coming towards you, past, present, or future? So whether you have a person or not, we're going to pick up the vibrations, we're going to pick up the messages and figure out what's good. So I am keeping my energy regulated because I'm fasting at the moment. I might not be as loud as usual, <laughs> but still very plugged in. Let's get started, Pisces. All right, you have the King of Swords energy showing up for your person or your future in love. This is really, really um, an awakening, I would call it. No, it's not the Sun card. No, it's not the High Priestess. It's not even a major arcana. But the reason I'm calling it an awakening is because there is nothing more refreshing than being able to deal with somebody who is a lot more mature in communication when it comes to romance than not. Whom you need is a mature communicator, somebody who is not afraid to speak the truth and to listen to the truth, someone who is not afraid to take a leadership role, if need be, someone who's not afraid to get called out or to call you out in a way that is respectful, not in a way that is dismissive. This is a leadership awakening that is happening in your life. And oh man, I didn't even get to it. I didn't even get to it. And yet this is calling my attention. This is asking you to have a look. This is saying to you, that multiple different options and opportunities will be presented to you. And you might, in some cases, if you're already dealing with somebody, get a lot of confusion, a lot of mixed signaling, a lot of this or that. But you will know who your person is just by the way they speak to you. Isn't that deep? You will know whom it is you're meant to be in this connection with just by the way they speak to you, just by the way they reason, just by the way they use their logic. For some of you, a specific message is coming out that when someone shows you who they are by what they are saying, please do not pretend like you didn't hear it. Yeah? If they said it, that's what they said. 
Don't excuse it. Don't wrap it up in a bow and make it into something else. They said that offensive thing. They use that offensive word. Don't wrap it in a bow and make it into, oh, it was just a moment. Everybody has a moment. Not that kind of moment. Not in relationships and not in healthy relationships. So this is for someone specifically listening. As far as the Ten of Cups, it looks like they, the universe is encouraging that practice of proper healthy communication in those with whom you engage. The wheel is turning and bringing forward somebody really, really um, just charming and articulate. Again, speech coming out as something in the forefront, somebody logical, somebody wise, possibly. Yeah, that King of Swords energy is definitely showing someone. This is something I think you've been very patient about, waited on, asked for, or prayed for. You've definitely kept um you know some cognitiveness some cognition around uh the caliber the level of people that you've been choosing to date you know some of you have said i don't want to dip this low anymore i don't want to go that low i want to be able to attract someone to myself that actually makes me look good and so the universe is saying well i'm going to put you in a social situation um, and that social situation is going to <laughs> start to sow some seeds about who needs to go, right? Eight of Cups and who needs to be present in your life. So this is a major arcana card and so is this one. They are working on your behalf, the temperance and the will of fortune, great combination, they're working on your behalf to, to change something quite fundamental in your life. There is someone they're pointing out um, as being too conflict prone for you. They're saying that's too much conflict for you. What you want is to start to get to your peace and get back to the fun times when things used to be fun. Now you have another king. I'm not surprised. Two people will compete for your attention likely. Two energy sources will come your way. And it will be up to you to decide whether or not you have matured enough to pick, select, or invest in the right energy. I think some of you will want to hold on based on this Four of Pentacles, and somebody will want to hold on to you. But just know that it is a quick decision that could make or break your trajectory, your trajectory in love. No pressure. It is something quick. It is someone quick. The movement is quick. The happenings are quick. Everything here is quick. It's going to happen in the flash of an eye. And it's happening more than likely in a social setting where there's celebration, there's drinking. Um, there's It doesn't have to be drinking alcohol. It could be drinking anything. It could be drinking iced tea. <laughs> You know, um, but the point of the matter is that you have this opportunity here for someone to really, really take you by the hand and show you how mature connections work, right? Not the immature ones, not the game playing and then walk away and then reunite. No, no, this is about maturity now, how you speak to each other, whether that's mature. Um, you are also manifesting something really, really important in your space. This is a very important time for you. It's not even your birthday. And it's not even my birthday. Um, it's not even your birthday. And yet, you know, you seem to, wow, something is really on your mind. And you have to be careful what you say, the words that you use, because the universe is listening. You seem to be in agony about whether things will change and that you will whether you will find this balance um some of you really badly want to reconcile with just one person you really want to reconcile you really want to see that person you want you you know you want things to be in sync aligned and in balance with that person and the universe does hear you but for those of you who don't have a person uh you will be led now to make decisions that are a lot more sound that don't get you in trouble and don't keep you up at night and worry like, oh, where's my person? Um, because some of you have 
you know, whatever the case may be, you've been involved with people who have been distracted by other people, places, or things, and that has caused you a lot of this trauma that's showing up here. I get it. Well, I told you that you were manifesting with that magician card, and I told you that even though things can appear to be difficult and that somebody left all of the work and the weight on you very clearly, um, the universe has a plan. They're acting on your behalf and they're asking you, I literally just talked about a plan and this is really literally the planning card. They're asking you to develop a plan, to make a plan um, about how you want to proceed. They're asking you to be ready to leave at the drop of a dime, if that's what it's going to take. Some of you need a vacation. You haven't taken one in the longest time. And for others of you, this is talking about a distance that you need to travel to get away from chaos and to cut off certain people in your life so that you can choose the right person. Again, I'm not surprised that the swords are coming out. Swords rule logic, communication. They also rule, um, you know, they can, listen, words can bring people together or they can tear them apart. If you're dealing with any kind of situation in, in which swords have been blunt, words have been blunt, or logic has not applied, um, I think you will be forced to make a decision soon about whether or not you want to clear the air because something is still hanging loose. You will also probably decide between two connections that are viable in your life if you become more social. And I think the more mature party is the right decision. This is your awakening that I talked about. I called it that awakening because I think it's time for you to grab, you know, that opportunity, that sword, and start to point it up rather than down or sideways, as you see in these cards. Try to take control of how you're spoken to in a connection. You can't be spoken to harshly. This is what you need to know. You know, with this sword energy, you can't be spoken to harshly. You can't be spoken to like you're not important. It doesn't work out. Um, I will say um, that something is going to happen quickly, though. Something quick, 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 quick. And, you know, with this, yeah, with the swords, swords can be very swift as well. So with the Knight of Swords... Something could happen very quickly and it could erupt uh, a little bit of a conflict argument that you need to resolve. And maybe it's already happened and that's why you want that justice, that reconciliation. Um, that's why someone may have walked away. But um, the universe is saying that's good. It is good. You know, conflict is good. It will help you see clearly. It will help you think clearly. It will help you determine who is for you because we don't just determine it by who gives us love we determine it by whom we argue well with are you do you argue well with this person if you don't argue well with the person again argumentation coming out in swift blunt words if somebody cuts below the belt hits below the belt or cuts through to the jugular goes too low you know that person is not for you that's just a sign that the universe is sending. All right. Um, let's move on to Aries. Aries, welcome. Um, I'm going to keep my voice a little down um, because I'm fasting for a bit. So I don't want to use up too much of my energy. So I'm not going to yell as I normally do. <laughs> I'm not going to go cuckoo like I normally do. I'm going to be normal today because I'm conserving my energy free fasting. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get started, Aries. Um, and kind of look into, so today we're going to look into some predictions. What's coming up uh, with the past, present, or future. So if you don't have a person... And a future person shows up, we'll talk about that. If you do have a person and um, something comes out, we'll talk about that as well. Oh, 
wow, the Ten of Swords is always a very complicated card to discuss, especially when it's the first card that comes out. I think what we're predicting here is a lot of intensity. There's something rising up like a balloon. There's something um, that's finally, finally, finally coming to a head that's going to be talked about. It's going to be noticed. Um, there is a wound here that uh, your person carries and it shows up when they deal with romantic situations. It's like, okay, your trauma is showing. <laughs> your trauma is showing. This person uh, that we're picking up is someone who would rather not get into argumentation. I think they would rather reconcile. And this is very similar actually to Pisces. If you don't have a person, this is the universe saying that you should really be careful to pick someone who doesn't dwell in fights forever, right? An argument is an argument. You're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be able to just knock that out, blow it away, and start again. Because for some of you, you've been dealing with somebody whom you have an argument with, and it lasts forever and ever and ever. And you're like, wait, are we still? Jeez Louise, right? You know, and it causes both that person and you to be a lot more down than you should be for a connection. So... Um, I'm getting the sense that this person is aching through their own anger. They're aching through, you know, the stuff that they have created. They would rather come back around. I don't know if I should tell you to help them, ease them through, you know, work, help them work through that, because I think that's their journey and that's their process to figure out. But it do, it it do <laughs> it do it does look like um this person wants to feel your passion your warmth i mean these wands certainly represent fire energy the ones of your fire sign and i i just think this person is down to receive your warmth wants to come right back around again um you know, wants to feel that heat. When you turn your back or you don't give them that attention, they definitely feel it, right? They feel left in the cold. For some of you, I think this person just stops uh, speaking for a while so they can get themselves together, um, sort things out, figure you out mostly. Um, but they want to hang around. They want to be there. They want to win. It's just they do feel that satisfying this connection is, you know, it's a task, it's a challenge, it's not so easy to do. They want to be very stable, so um, you have to think about that. That's how to appeal to this person. Is This person right now is in their stabilization era. They want to find ways to no longer hop around and to give a lot more. Yeah, this person is growing up. I don't care if they're 72 years old, they are growing up. And, um, you know, this is predicting them charging forward once they figure out their roots, once they figure out where they want to lay their head, where they want to root themselves, where they want to be based, um, where they want to grow, even work-wise. Um, this is also talking about, for those of you who don't have a person, um, finding someone who has already sorted those things out so that you don't get into a situation where you're dealing with somebody who is depressed. Okay. All right. And on your energies, speaking of which, let's have a look into your energies. Some of you could naturally be growing up too. I think you're leaving one stage of your life and experiencing a different type of stage. So you could have said to yourself recently, like, geez, like I've really outgrown this person, you know, X, Y, Z person or this thing or this place or these people. You could be looking around and just thinking to yourself, wow, this is, I'm, I'm not, this is stale to me. Um, and finding something exciting is important to you. I think you want 
a love supreme. I think you want a soulmate situation. I think you want that person who just gets you to quit tarot for good because you're just so wrapped up in love. And I, I think, um, I do, if you're single, that person should be approaching soon. Yeah, it should be swift. Uh, if you have someone in mind, I really think that, you know, there's a missing articulation of how you want to be treated. I mean, you can always point out what someone's done wrong. How you want to be treated is very important as well. You want to define that template for them to know. Because it's showing here that you could have two completely different love languages. Um, even if this, this is your dream person. The love languages could be totally different and, you know, it could register as you kicking somebody out or carrying baggage or trauma, which then ends up leaving you stuck, non-emotional, um, you know, just having that inertia rather than you spending that time in love. I think you're a lot more playful, you're a lot more position to be clear about what you want in love and now you're primed not to settle yeah you've got choices my darling you've even got choices i mean i think your next connection if you're watching this will probably be your serious connection so if you leave somebody or if you meet somebody who is closer to your wish fulfillment somebody whom you, yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. I knew if I, yeah, if I dug deeply enough. Because what's happening is for some of you, yeah, see, this is crazy. I knew that if I cut the deck that I would see some more information. Some of you are definitely starting a new love and, you know, you two are counterparts and you're closer in love language. That is your wish fulfillment. That's the thing that you're dreaming about. That's the hot tamale. That's the thing that you're talking about, you wanting to be in love. And that's the new beginning that's definitely coming. And I definitely think that's the person you're going to marry or be with long term. Um, so for others of you, if you're conflicted about this, you probably need to leave somebody to get to somebody. And you will likely have a choice of two people. One is going to approach very quickly. And another will be somebody who tugs at your heart. Uh, either way, I think you're saying to yourself, coming to this realization that a crumb is not going to be enough. You want to grow. And now that the universe has brought it to your attention, you're going to be thinking about how to co-grow, right? To accomplish side-by-side -side, side growth with somebody who finds that to be important as well. Okay? Let us move on to Taurus. Mm -hmm. I'm talking really slowly because um, I don't want to burn up too much of my energy since I'm fasting. So I'm just holding my energy together. No more yelling. No more antics. <laughs> You're here for the tarot anyway. Not for the antics, but you know, you get that as a side dish. As an extra. Extra spicy. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's do Taurus. That's crazy. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Taurus. Um, okay. So just keeping my voice low as I'm explaining. Um, because I am fasting. So I don't want to use up too much energy with my usual antics. So I'm being chill. <laughs> I'm being chill, I'm not scaring you guys, yeah? All right. Um, let's take this down. So, Taurus, today we are doing um, some predictions, all right? So past, present, or future. Anyone who comes out, it could be somebody you know, and if you're single, it could pick up somebody you don't know. We're going to figure out what's going on and what's coming towards you in your love issues, your love life. Let's see. 
Your person is on the right and you are on the left. Let's have a look. Wow, Taurus. My goodness. Well, one thing is for sure. <laughs> Your person thinks you're very hard on people. You're quite a stickler. Some of you are actually quite religious or just very disciplined in terms of institutions, um, obeying, following the rules, following the status quo. You don't shift and shaft all over the place, you know? And that's not surprising for your sign, but it's also not surprising because the Hierophant is your card. That card represents you. Not only does it represent you, uh, it represents, as a shortcut way of saying it in tarot, marriage. It represents commitment. It represents, in many instances, when you look at the traditional deck and you look for the Hierophant somewhere, you'll notice that this is someone who looks almost like a pope, right? Someone, I mean, this the Hierophant, literally, uh, someone who is in charge of these sort of religious institutional things so when you know this card is coming up this person is saying that you have a lot of high standards they're saying they respect you a lot um and for some of you who don't really have a person and you're in a situation ship this is really knocking you on your head and saying have you examined the quality the quality of connections you're in because Sooner or later, this is going to hit you over the head that you want to be in a solid connection. You want to be in a real marriage. You want to be in a real relationship. Yeah, whatever real means to you. Um, but I can tell you that a lot of you watching are not free-spirited with that. You are quite conservative when it comes to your ideas of whom you would like to be with. Um, and this doesn't mean, no, 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 I'm not talking about sexuality or gender or anything like that. You could be very much so, you know, gay or um, bi or whatever, even bi-curious. You could be any range in terms of your sexuality. What I'm talking about is you like the stability, you like the structure. So even if you don't believe in marriage, you would want the domestic partnership. You want to know that you have somebody that you're counting on as a partner. You're not really, and it's not, again, not surprising that this would represent you. Not surprising that you're not an air sign, for example. <laughs> no shade. You know, you're an earth sign, so you like to be grounded, you know, and, uh, you know, your person is picking that up from you, and this is predicting that sooner or later, this issue of how you want to be serious or not will dominate this connection. And this is picking up that if you don't have a person, you will in your next connection be forced to talk about whether it is long-term and committal or not. You will have very little time for people who play games or, you know, muck you about and all of that kind of stuff. It's just not in your cards right now. This is predicting a lot more craving for stability and a person who knows it. Yeah, absolutely. Just confirming everything we just said, that eight of pentacles, that work card, putting in the work, putting in the groundedness. These pentacles represent that earth energy. So anybody who knows that they need to, you know, be with you, work with you, um, they know that They know that it can't be flimsy. Um, somebody wants to do right by you. Yeah, they want to make things right. Whatever it is that has caused offense, this person is not comfortable with that. They're saying, that's not who I am. That's not how things should go. Yeah, you're very much, Taurus, again, like I said, looking at, looking at these cards, this person understands and possibly your understanding, you're very much someone who is all about how things should go shouldn't go that way it should go this way it shouldn't go that way it should go this is how it should go this is the right way this is the you know what i mean and uh your person is respecting that marriage is just popping up for you a lot yeah 
it's popping up. It's an issue here. So you're either married yourself or dealing with somebody who could have been taken when you met them. Or if it's neither of those options, it is grounded in um, you just wanting to make sure that you have a stable romantic connection, not one that flip flops around. Someone is also apologizing and want, wants to, yeah, they want to make up. They want to do right by you. They're giving you this peace offering and saying, hey, you know, I know that wasn't cool. Um, I want to reach out. I don't know if you're going to let them because you are Taurus, <laughs> the bull. <laughs> so I don't know if you're actually going to let them. I'm just telling you that what they want to do. And um, yeah, there's an apology and a making things right coming out here because, you know, it's tough for this person actually to uh, to admit their faults. But just by observing you and putting in that work, um, I think they have a lot to say. And I think um, they're okay with saying it. Somebody here is also talking about an aging, an aging parent or an aging, somebody who's aging, um, you know, bearing the brunt of responsibility, you know, carrying a lot on their back and just getting older. You can see their wrinkles now. You can see, you know, somebody has just made that comment. Um, and I think that's why you're trying to attract a more mature connection, something that is a bit less emotional, right? And a lot more intellectual for you. I think you need that. Uh, I think the cards think you need that. So this is predicting that you will come to a place where you might find somebody who wants to lead with that, and that could attract you more. You could be attracted to someone who takes care of the elderly or of someone aging, um, or even someone who works in a mortuary, works with those who have uh, ailments or needs that cause them to rest. Um, uh, for others of you, this is pointing to a communication issue, right? With the swords coming out representing that logic, discourse, communication, dialogue. Uh, you could have a communication issue with your person, and this is predicting that that turns around. Because like I said, with the justice and the king of swords, that certainly is an indication of someone who wants to make things right and speak. Yeah, because that person has probably not been around. They've not been around physically or they've not been around emotionally. Either way, their presence is lacking. Something about, you know, they're not speaking and speaking up when they should, causing this distance and needing, again, this restart button here. Boop, the Ace of Pentacles card coming out and talking about that restart button, uh, the one that is needed to begin this journey of making things right. Uh, let's see what you have going on here, Taurus. Let's see what you have going on. So on your end, I think, you know, you're starting to freakishly enjoy time on your own more than you enjoy time with others. It, you're getting really comfortable with that. I think you're open to reconciliation. You're healing. You're less upset. You're less angry uh, now than you used to be. Um, and you're working through something depressive that was possibly caused by your person. You're working through that. You're healing, you know, my little Red Cross card over there. Um, but it might take time for you to sort of restore yourself. And that's why uh, for a lot of you, you could keep your person waiting until you figure that part out you're still mesmerized and intrigued by them. So you don't mind welcoming, you know, welcoming them to a certain degree, but I think you're strong on your own. And I think you're realizing that, you know, this is a trait that is very, very specific to you as a sign. Whenever you get these mixed signals, too many options, confusion, you know, it could be this way, that way. And all these mixed messages you tend to withdraw a little bit and sort of have a humbler picture of the world, a less excited picture of someone. You start to get down and you start to remember that, you know what, 
I'm okay by myself anyway, even if I'm married, even if I'm connected, even if I have a situation or a relationship, even if I'm single, you start to get into this space. You see how the cards are confirming it as we flow along. They're saying sometimes you get really spooked out when someone is not clear, when they don't give you what? This groundedness that you need, this hair font energy, that stability, status quo, and the way things are supposed to go. You certainly recoil. However, your person uh, is being predicted to not be quite finished yet. I mean, I see something brewing. I do. Um, I also see this as a counterpart to the Hierophant. Uh, they're not romantic counterparts, but they are certainly counterparts higher up there in those uh, clerical worlds, those who... Um, are gatekeepers to spirituality and help others reach uh, their, I suppose, spiritual goals. So for some of you, you are attracting someone into your life because that person is supposed to teach you a lesson. You're supposed to learn the lesson and decide whether, okay, I've learned it, goodbye, right, with the death card, or whether, you know, there's something forgivable here that will allow you to move forward. It's going to be up to you. Um, I think a lot of you have been waiting to reconcile with someone for a while because that person has not spoken, yeah, with a high priestess. Um, but that person may turn the corner from this not speaking situation. It looks like there is a possibility here that they will want to press this restore button. It's just now, okay, do they have time, you know, they're caring for the elderly or they're caring for someone in their life. Are they sorry? Yes, absolutely. Do they want the reconcil reconciliation? Yes. But can you wait? Because it will be on their own timing. They have, you know, things that are taking up their energy and they know that they can't half ass it with you. That's really the root of the message. Someone is coming and they know they can't half ass it with you, not with the hair of present. They know that they're going to have to put in work. Okay. Um, some of you could have been dealing with somebody who was married at work and that's a whole different situation. Um, all right. Let us move on to Gemini if we can. In this recorded reading today, we're doing Gemini. All right. Um, see, wow, this phone is getting quite hot. Gemini, welcome. Gemini, welcome to your reading. We are doing uh, some predictions today. So whatever live predictions we can get, we'll just sort of yank them out, pull them out, see what we can do. Um, this is past, present or future. So, you know, Whoever it is that comes out, that's whom we'll read. Um, and if multiple energies come out, we'll read for those as well. So just a note that I'm keeping my voice quite low because I'm fasting. So I don't want to use too much energy with my antics and animations. <laughs> I want to kind of keep it cool and, you know, keep my reserves so that I can have the energy needed. Okay. So that, that explains my change of tone, but I'm not tired. So. Oh, nice, nice knight of pentacles coming towards you. Right, chariot at the bottom. Now we're talking. Uh, something starts off slowly and then it picks up pace. If you're dealing with someone now and things are slow, it's definitely picking up pace. With that chariot, trying to move it right along. Now, I didn't say it's going to move it into some sort of paradise, but it's certainly going to move it. The chariot is not still. Even Knight of Pentacles is not quite still, but you know, it can it can move slowly because it's deliberate and thoughtful in its um in its approach. So, you know, and for those of you who are single, there's someone slowly approaching, looking forward to having uh, a good conversation, we'll call it, right? This keeps coming out for a lot of people today, but this is this is more aligned with your energy. This is more so uh, speech communication. Of course, the swords represent air energies and you're an air sign. 
So you definitely seem to have someone who has their eye on you. I mean, even this card is facing you. Someone has their eye on you. Someone is going to really convince you, be really convincing towards you. And um, you, you have, um, oh, some of you have actually been talking to the universe, talking to the heavens about your person. And guess what? They're doing the exact same thing. You two are mutually invested in having a solid connection. And even if you don't have someone, you are calling someone into your existence with this manifestation power. See, there's a lot of manifest, there is manifestation power going on in this reading. There is manifestation. It's literally as you say something, that's how it happens. If you chant it, it will probably um it'll probably happen in the exact way that you have chanted. All right. Um be serious this time, is what the cards are saying. I don't know whom that pertains to. But apparently, if you've been jokey-jokey and jovial before in your search for someone or in your relationship or connection with someone, and you've told them something and they've gone and done the exact opposite, the cards are saying, be serious this time. Put your foot down. If you say that you don't tolerate XYZ, then you don't tolerate XYZ and the, ba the boundaries need to be set. So when you attract people to yourself with this eight of pentacles, that's a lot of labor energy. It's a lot of work energy. Gemini, the cards are saying, let those people do the work that they need to do in order to prove that they will be there for you, that they will love you, that they will care for you and all of those good things. That is the way it's supposed to be. You're not meant to question it. Yeah. And I just, yeah, all these pentacles are coming out because a lot of you need to hear that that work that somebody needs to do to earn you is important. You don't just meet people and say, oh, hey, here, have me. You know, um, there's there's some earning that needs to happen. Um, somebody here has been really sad about, you know, something that has transpired. Um, for a portion of you, though, this doesn't have to do with you. This has to do with their work. There are unemployment, uh, I shouldn't say unemployment, their employment issues, um, whatever is going on with their finances. This is a lot more to do with their life than it has to do with you. And so sometimes you may catch this person and they're just moody or checked out or you're dealing with somebody who goes into these depressive episodes and it's because they're really, really much, very much in their mind. Oh, I just said that. Or swords again that mental energy coming out for this person uh, who is trying to sort what to do how to deal with this particular issue um you have somebody who wants to collaborate with you and see you again especially if you two have not been speaking um the universe is bringing them right back around very shortly it's uh, something they want to break out of. It doesn't make them feel good. This person does not feel to me like they like argumentation. Yeah, I was just about to say that, and it comes right out. And guess who that is? That's you. That's your card. That's the lover's card. This person would rather make love and not war. So if you're mean, if you've done anything, or if they've done anything that's mean, I would suggest, you know, uh, that the prediction states that all of that is going to be lifted. I think somebody's just going to accidentally make out with somebody and that's a whole different story. Um, but until then, I think your person is not showing you that they miss you or that they need a certain level of clarification or a connection from you. Uh, the universe will have to expose it on its own. I told you about these swords showing up. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, so now let's check on your end, um, Gemini. Let's check on your end. I'm encouraged. Um, oh, okay. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Um, you do have the two of cups underneath, but when I cut the deck, I'm seeing um, something that's keeping you from the one. Some of you have already identified the one. Yeah? Look at that emperor coming to meet the empress right nicely and evenly. But um, you haven't finished there's some unfinished business with somebody. So it's hard for you to really reconcile and move on. You don't get along with other people because I think you have 
a prototype in your mind of whom you should be with. That's where your heart is. Your heart is longing for somebody still. Yeah. I, well, I wouldn't be surprised if it was this person. Yeah. And you know what else is coming out? This is your wish. You really, all the emotions are flowing. Some of you could have possibly cried about this person. You really want to clear the air. You have something to say. There's a lot going on here. You know, somebody walked away from a commitment or a connection. It really caused argumentation and heartbreak and issues with uh, um, communication. I just said, look, Everywhere I cut, there's a counterpartnership happening. You know, these two are counterparts, not romantically, but in the heavens. And they are watching you weep. They're watching you cry. They're watching you, you know, try to heal from argumentation. Because a lot of you, you just want that commitment. And you're still healing. You're still going through that because you're saying, I think I have lost my opportunity to be in this long-term connection. And, you know, you're not sure what to do, but you do know that this person has felt to you like a soulmate. This person has felt to you quite deeply bonded to you and quite present in your life. So there's a lot, uh, there's a lot there, Gemini. And there's a closure issue as well, round and round cycles. And with you giving in to something, trying to be strong and trying to... Um, not offend i think sometimes it compromises your values to be fair um so yeah you're not comfortable being stuck or hung gemini you want to sort of move forward with the chariot you kind of want to i but by the way you know whatever it is that you need to clear up i think your person agrees it, that it's not making the both of you happy yeah your person would agree now who leads this conversation I don't know, because underneath you're, you're seeming stuck, you're seeming guarded, something happened with work or money or someone at work, and now you have these trust issues popping out. So it's really strange, um, because I, I don't know how to help you, because I feel that you are very capable of helping yourself. I think you're working on some things. New opportunities in work could present themselves if you apply yourself a little bit more. I think some of you start to apply yourself, then you get distracted by love again. So, you know, love can really disrupt um, some of the plans that you have for your career. It's a real balancing act that you have to come come to. But you're really in your head about someone. Uh, still, you, you know, it's going to take a while, you feel, uh, to sort of shake that person from your system. So really, this is predicting, yeah continued obsessiveness over that person and really not being able to socialize with other people until your stuff with this person is resolved you're in your head about them you want to you know meet people but then you push them away you sabotage them you remain stuck where you are uh, meanwhile this is telling you that you need to move forward um, and that you should stop being distracted when it comes to your work. I think you do very well and you have new opportunities coming um, in work, but then you get into these very sad depression states, you see? Both of you do, you know, to be honest. Both of you struggle a little bit with that, and you could have gone through multiple cycles with this person, so that's why it's hard for you to shake them. It's because this person is connected to you, and, you know, even if you two um, go through periods of silence or guardedness, which show up here in your in their cards, um, this is somebody who, in the future, looks like they want to still clear the air. They still feel, they have a soulmate energy around yeah it, this feels like a soulmate situation uh, they really want to be around you and they're not re ready to release you so unfortunately despite this guardedness or fortunately however you choose to look at it they are still manifesting you they're approaching you they want to really have this clarification and reunion with you on uh, whatever topics whether you two live together see each other or you don't this is uh two different people this is a case of two different people with two different love languages but still the same intent still the same feeling and connection there all right um let's move on to cancer let's move on to ooh, let's move on to cancer i think leo just fell so i have to go pick up leo All right, grabbing Leo, putting Leo back. All 
All right. Cancer, how are you? Um, I just want to give a brief disclaimer that I am speaking in a low or mild voice today because I am fasting. So I am trying to reserve my energy as a result. This means fewer antics, fewer animations, <laughs> and more tarot. All right, let's get started. Predictions coming up. Anything from past, present, or future person? Um, you know... That's great. It's a happy energy. Someone wants to grow. Someone wants to build. Someone is thinking about you. Someone appreciates you and they want you to know that. This person is trying to get back to fun. They're trying to get back to a liveliness. They're literally talking about, mm, let's get back to fun. Let's do that. Let's get back to a liveliness, this person is saying. Yeah, wow. Two tens back to back. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups coming out there. This person is interested in longevity, believe it or not. They're interested in you two, or at least in their own future, working on something that lasts. So you are attracting someone towards you, my dear Cancer, who is interested in building they are fun like i said they were and then the full card is certainly coming out uh there could be a little bit of an age difference or maturity difference between the two of you but i think it's a yin and yang situation and that um you two could very well balance each other um so that's good Wow, absolutely fantastic Ace of Wands. Yeah, so definitely this is leaning towards those who are seeking somebody new. If you're seeking somebody new, that is definitely in the works and it's a good catch. Those are the two words that are coming to mind as I pick up this person. This is a good catch. This is someone who makes sense, finally, right? Um, this is not a bum. This is someone who has it together emotionally and financially and spiritually and career wise and romance wise. They know how to balance things, you know, whereas may, perhaps people you've met in the past, either they get it right in romance and fail in career or they fail in career and get it right in romance. This person has a fun side to them. Very playful, very awesome. Um, but they're also very balanced and they like to make money and they like to be able to support themselves. So lots going on here with their maturity and their fun uh, and their balance. I was talking about balance so much that the justice card came out. So that makes absolute sense, doesn't it? This person, you know, is not going to bore you because whatever it is you throw at them, they can hang. So this is going to be, I mean, if you do meet this person, I think that's going to be a really, really interesting match. If you're dealing with somebody now already, I definitely think this is what this person is working towards and what they're trying to show you. Um, they do not want the antics. They don't want the drama. They don't, they can't handle, you know, too much of the negativity. Right now, this person is in their positivity era. That's what they want to do. Stay positive. They don't, they're saying if there should be cups, if there should be emotions, if there should be water, as with your water sign, they don't want it to be with tears. This water that comes from you or from them even should be positive. It should be tears of joy. It should be tears of laughter. It shouldn't be tears of sorrow. You know, this person doesn't want, they're very impatient around it. If I'm honest, they will just skedaddle. They're like, no, 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 no drama for me. What I want is fun. What I want is a co-builder. Yep. And what I want is love. Look at that beautiful energy here. This is a mature person with a playful side. This is a person who's great with um, career stuff and still great with romance. This is a person who is both romantic and practical. Like it's such a great balance. Look at that, you know, justice card coming out. I love that balance that this person is, um, you know, emulating here. This is also somebody whom you can rely on, a very reliable individual. Um, when they are invested in someone, they remain faithful. 
They uh, remain loyal. They do not, you know, play about. Um, the only thing now, you know, for some of you who are dealing with somebody is that uh, this person ha might have options. Other people could be interested in this person. And so that's why sometimes the messaging takes a longer time. Sometimes, you know, that's why they appear a little bit stressed. You know, sometimes um, that's why, you know, they have to sort of give a little bit as opposed to a lot of it. But when they are locked down, they are locked in, you know, for one's energy. That's just the nature of things. So it will now depend. Let me look at your cards and see what your cards are showing. Let's see what your cards are showing, Cancer. Yeah, there's something coming up about you guys' messaging. It seems, Cancer, you must not be... So, uh, you could, mm, perhaps you're not satisfied with the way this person has been responding to your messaging lately. Um, or you're just kind of thinking about how to message them in a way that is appealing to them and keeps them interested. You don't want to show them a certain side of yourself. You're kind of like, mm, I'm too embarrassed to discuss that. Um, and some of you have really just been manifesting someone into your life who's not going to be in and out, wishy-washy. Yeah, that's been a major issue. It's like, I don't want this in and out stuff. I want somebody who is going to be balanced and present and there. And so you have, in some cases, really been praying, you know, talking to the universe or whatever it is that you do. You've really been meditating because you're conflicted. You kind of are drawn to slightly crazy, nutty people. <laughs> um, you like the play, but you want somebody a lot more mature and responsible, not someone who's juvenile. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who already has children, but you feel like you have to take care of that person. Others of you are owed an apology for something toxic that happened. Now, I'm not blaming anyone. I don't know you know, who was at fault, but it looks like there was some toxicity here, and that caused you to not speak. And, you know, you said to yourself, when you are, when this person is ready to build with me, then we can co-build. But for now, both of you seem to have this like energy of like, well, it was toxic. I'm not going to really say anything. Um, there is something brewing here yeah, in terms of the Ace of Cups. I think you have a lot brewing actually with, um, with your love life. You have new beginnings. You have a balancing. You have a great person. I can see in the cars. This person is cool. I like their energy. So you're brewing that person, but you're also a little bit no nonsense because you've had some intrusive thoughts, my dear, about, you know, what to do if you don't get the right apologies, how you're not going to speak and how you're going to, you know, change your standards and this and that and the other. And so you don't want to give too much. You've been like, I'm going to regulate how available I am because there's been conflict over your text messaging. So you're trying to manifest, you know, yourself into power in relationships and use silence as a way of... Uh, controlling your person in a way, if you have one. Um, and then, you know, I just feel that you are attracting someone more mature. However, you know, you might have some maturity issues to reflect on yourself. Everybody's not perfect. Um, you're attracting someone, Cancer, whom you can grow with. And that's the takeaway here. All right. Let's move on to Leo. Leo, I want to welcome you. Do bear in mind, I'm using a softer tone now. That's only because I'm fasting. So I want to, you know, maintain enough energy. So you'll probably get reduced antics from me. Fewer animations. My voice will probably remain like this. That's okay, because you're not here for those animations. You're here for the juicy juice. You're here for the drama. You're here for the predictions. You're here for everything else. You're like, give it to me, give it to me. All right, well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Um, this is predicting that there has been a situation in which um, someone's been really tormented, I will say. Picking up a lot of torment been really difficult um there's been space there's been lack of speaking and you know what 
it's not aggressive. It's just, let me fall back. Someone literally is saying, let me fall back. Let me take a step back and uh, reevaluate and use this time. Um, for some of you, you're tormented because you know that deep inside of you, you're made of something more. You deserve something more. Uh, you should be with someone a little bit more, no shade. And if you don't have a person, you're wondering, really, I mean, if this is the best that you can do. And the universe is saying that you are not defined by whom you are with. I'm saying something else because you are defined by whom you're with. You should, right? The end of that is you should enjoy your solace and your solitude if you do not feel like the person you like love or people whom you attract into your life are up to par. If they are not up to par, you are actually much likelier to get into your glory era sooner and more fortified because you are the strength card than you are if you decide to just settle for a lesser species. <laughs> Not a species. Okay, just a foul person, right? So again, it, it, it goes... Um, okay, I was going to say something else, but all right, that's fine. This really goes back to who you are, Leo, and how you feel about who you are when you are with a particular person. Some of you are still saying, well, I feel okay when I'm with a particular person, even though we've gone round and round in multiple cycles. Sometimes that cycle closing out, I still feel this draw. I still feel this devastatingly, um, this hunger, this eagerness to know that this person still wants me. And yet somehow you are wanting somebody in some cases, not all, but you're wanting someone who makes you feel sad, who does not roll the cycle along. Um, this is showing a completed cycle, but it's showing, uh, it's showing a closure issue, which could mean for some of you, uh, there's a need to open it back up. There's unfinished business showing up here. There is like um, something that you need to determine first before you release. And then for others of you, there's just like this ho-hum boringness that has taken place in your connection with somebody because that's what you have allowed it to be. You're reaching for greatness and you want it to happen soon, but you are what you are and your person is what your person or who your person is. And so with this three of cups, some of you are aching to get out there. Your persons, if you don't have one, could be coming from a social situation, party, celebration, or club that you may decide to join. Um, there's something still brewing here. Your eyes are wandering. I'll be fair, you know. Um, not just your person's eyes. Your eyes are wandering. Because I think you want to know that, you know, I think a lot of you have been asking recently, is this the best that you can do? There's some messaging coming up between you and somebody whom you have in mind right now. That person is likely to message you and ask to see you or try to bump into you in some way if they can. Um, that's if they can. If they cannot, um, you know, there's still something here in this person's mind that replays all the time. It repeats it's an obsession almost, but you know, I can't speak to how healthy or not it is, but it's certainly repetitive. This person has an inner conflict within themselves and they could struggle with their own issues. They could struggle with their own addictiveness, uh, things that they hide from others when they get, you know, especially by themselves. Um, yeah, but I definitely in this case, I'm getting the sense of somebody not liking 
when they're not close to you. They don't like when they feel left out and you're involved. There's something about your presence that really changes this person's view of the world, really. And right now they're showing as independent, solo, single. You know, even if they're in a connection, this is very much independent energy operating as if you're not around. And that is really exacerbating this inner conflict. Let me see what's at the bottom. Yeah, something is left in limbo. I see somebody professing. Um, okay, so somebody's gone and somebody is professing um, their emotions for you in the future. There's lots that you don't know emotionally that I think is still yet to come out because, you know, this is just waiting to explode that Five of Cups energy. It, it should really shock you. And I don't know. Let's see what, you know, how you react. I, you know, Leo, I think you're going to try to maintain your cool despite what you see coming up. Yeah, for some reason, you don't want to give in to the emotions. You're saying, ah, oh, well, that's cute, but you don't want to give in to that. Wow, very stoic there, very stubborn, very unmoved, unimpressed, saying, okay, well, that's great. Thanks for sharing. You just deciding that you're going to hold on to something that's already happened. Um, some of you could be starting a business or trying to elevate yourselves financially and feeling a little bit stuck, so getting that help possibly from outside sources or a boss, someone with an authority in your life, trying to grow and build, particularly if you have children. I think you're getting very serious about their future, not just yours. Yeah, seriousness is on your side today. Certainly really predicting that you will no longer toy around with things that are not um, profitable, things or people that are not profitable. I hate to put it like that, but you, mm, you're being blunt today. You're attracting, wow, look at that. So even if it means there's a lot of ego showing up here, and that's fine, you're entitled to that, by the way, but I'm just saying that even if it means the both of you don't speak or make each other feel left out or miss each other, what you're saying, right, is that you will not settle for less. You're not going to go for broke. You're not going to go for less than the commitment that you deserve. You want it, you've been building a lot. This is a conversation that you're likely to have with your person or with someone in the future. If you don't have a person, you're going to say, listen, I'm on my boss stuff right now. And if you're not on my boss stuff, I don't know how long this reconciliation or this bond will last. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be broke and I don't want to be, you know, left behind. So if that means that I have to cut you off with this sword and that we will both be single independent. Uh, Leo, I think you're taking a very hard line and very soon, and that is going to really be interesting to read for as your story continues, darling. Wow. All right, boss lady or boss dude. Let's move on to Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Today, Virgo, we want to talk about, um, and by the way, I'm keeping my voice low, Virgo, because I have to, I am fasting. So I just, I want to conserve my energy and not do too much. Yeah. Not do too much, not take stuff too far. <laughs> not too many animations. Just keeping it light, keeping my energy flowing. All right. Virgo, we're trying to tap into your future. <laughs> right? What a what a cheesy little thing to say, but we're doing predictions today and just sort of seeing past, present, or future. What could be approaching you and what you can look forward to, past, present, or future um in terms of love and romance in your life how's that looking well i was hoping this was a card stuck to another card but it's yeah it's by itself this is uh someone's trauma showing this is an internal conflict it is um something that someone can't seem to solve this person has been dealing with a lot of rain 
Um, they've probably even talked about how gloomy it's been outside and, you know, how they've had to keep people out from hurting them. This person has a sob story. I don't know if you're turned on by that, but they do. Um, yeah, oh, Jesus. I, I did not even see that coming, but I could feel it. I was like, wah, 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 wah. Oh, wow, that's mean of me, isn't it? But geez, Louise, your person has a sob story. And even if this is not somebody you're thinking of right now, the cards are saying you tend to attract people with sob stories. And you tend to fall for those sob stories. So in the future, all I'm seeing is really you needing to see past the sob story. See past the story. Why is this person always 24 seven, woe is me? There's always a problem. There's always a reason they weren't able to do something. They're always undergoing something. There's always some trauma. There's always something deep. There's always a, you know what I mean? Like it was delayed because of this. And then there was this excuse and that excuse. Look how many swords have come out, right? And even in your future, you know, the cards are warning you not to keep attracting that type of person because that takes you absolutely nowhere. There's a sadness here that this person uh, feels to have you either, mm, you and they probably have a timing situation. There's something here where you keep being like two ships passing in the night and this person is saying, I think we can do better than that. Um, I, you know, lots of swords. This person is quite sensitive. I don't care if they appear to be a juiced up steroidal person. They definitely can be very sensitive around words. Sometimes they can dish it, but they can't take it. That's that kind of person. Ah, wow. Not very emotionally mature. I mean, they really can push people out rather than let people in. And, um, you know, they want to be wise. I think they're very intelligent, but, you know, with using a lot of emotions and using a lot of, you know, um, mind games, really, it doesn't harness that emotional maturity and that letting people in to a vulnerable space. I think this person operates on one level and doesn't really descend any deeper than that. So are you going to attract somebody a lot deeper? I don't know, because you have somebody here who is missing you, who is unable to let you go, who is carrying this, you know, baggage and that scarring. And that person still seems to be lingering in your energy. Um, you, you also, well, for some of you, this person is not even speaking and they're lingering in your energy. <laughs> um, I think they will appeal to you. Um, but it will be a lot of, uh, you know, game playing, which will draw you in only to sort of keep you out if you get too close. Yeah. With that seven of wands energy, like if you get too close, they're definitely going to make sure that you don't cross the line. And so there's something here that lacks the definition that, you know, this person, you think that this person has promise of, you need a lot more of this definition here, this um, rather than going round and round in these circles, complete uh, circular situation that you found yourself in. Well, the universe is stepping in in the future and driving those circles just a little bit more and doing a lot of the work for you, helping you um, to make concrete decisions about your person and to bring new energy into your life because... Um, your future is too entangled with somebody who just, well, is a mind freak. <laughs> I was going to say the F word, but really, no, they can be a, a mental F word. They really can. Um, they mess with your mind, N maybe not even purposely, maybe because their minds are so entangled. And I don't think you need that, darling. I really don't. Um... I don't know. I think you're ready for some fun in your life. I think you've been asking for that. Yeah. Um, 
you know, some of you have been very charitable, you're givers, you work hard, um, you put in time and effort towards something and you want to see it pay off. You think it's time for that. I think a lot of you have felt old energy from somebody in your space because like I told you, that person gets into your mind and they do what? They stay there to the point where you start acting like them. Now they're in your mind and you're in their mind and you two just have a relationship that's completely mental. The universe is sick of that. The universe is saying that's going to change and soon. It's Look, it's launching you into a new beginning with the full card and yeah, it will say to your person, either do something or hop off because they are about to possibly get cut off and possibly uh, they don't want to, right? Because they can sense that, which is why they keep drawing you in with all these sob stories and other people in. And, uh, you know, their feelings are going to have to come out eventually. I think when you push them, you know, and give them an ultimatum, Suddenly they remember, oh, you know what? <laughs> Let me express myself to Virgo. Um, I think you've, you know, borne the brunt of a lot of the work in your connections. You've done a lot of the labor, I will say. It's, it's fallen on you. Even just planning something romantic, it's fallen on you. Your person recognizes that. Your person knows that, you know, that you would possibly lead in a connection. You would possibly do the needful and um, step ahead, lead ahead. And now you're <laughs> censoring yourself and saying, maybe I shouldn't do all that because all it does is lead to heartbreak. Well, you could be right there. You're looking for your soulmate, but you're attracting somebody who can be quite toxic, and you know that. So you're really evaluating these things. Your soulmate, as far, your, as, far as your soulmate is concerned, well, it, it depends on your appetite. Do, you, so do some of you enjoy the toxicity that comes with heartbreak and overthinking and somebody wrapping you around their sub stories 24-7 and their baggage? You could be the one who's always talking about your sub stories and your baggage. You could be, you know, boohooing all the time. Um, but I think that, you know, that buries this lovely emotional stuff that you're seeking. Yeah. The soulmate energy you wanting to. Yeah. So you're going to change this. That's what's coming up in your future. You're definitely changing a lot of this. You're taking control of the conversation. I think you two might clash on that. Um, but somebody's got to do it. You're taking control of that conversation. And the wheel is turning. Your money is looking great. Although it's like you want more because you want to, to be matched in your energy and what you have to offer the world. You're like, listen, I should be a zillionaire by now. And so that's, that looks like an issue for you. But with new beginnings in your life, you'll have the opportunity to think through these things and attract those opportunities um, that possibly bring you more revenue or income. Okay. Okay, let's move on to Libra. Hey, hey, babes. Hey, hey, Libras. Oh, wow, only three more signs left. Okay, well, Libra, I just want to tell you guys, um, my voice is going to be kept a little bit down because I am um, fasting, so I need my energy. Uh, I, I still have it, thankfully. Um, so I'm not tired or anything, but I don't want to like use all my energy being loud and animated for no reason. So, uh, you're going to get the soothing FM voice, the radio FM voice today and not anything that's too out of bounds. Yeah. I'm not going to do any shouting. You're right. You know, I always shout, <laughs> you know, I'm always doing that. No, seriously. I'm going to try to control it. Um, Libra, you know. I sense pain already. I sense that you've been crying over someone or something in your life and you want for things to calm down. I see that calming down pretty soon. 
Um, some of you are asking where your soulmate is. Some of you are wondering if the current person you're dealing with is worth their salt. Let's see what the cards have to say about these predictions and what's coming up. Either past, present, or future person. What what do these cards want to tell you? Huh? What do these cards want to tell you, Libra? What do these cards want to tell you? Hang on. Hmm. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. Are you serious? With the magician on the bottom? Oh my God. Libra, I think you're taking this one. I think you're taking this reading. Because the response that's coming in on your behalf is that the universe is, has heard you. I see someone approaching you. Um, I see soulmate energy. It looks like whomever it is that you're manifesting is going to have an opportunity to prove themselves. I say prove themselves because not all of you will end up with the person that you're manifesting, but the universe will throw you a bone and say to you, you know what, let's try something different in your life this time. Instead of sending you someone who doesn't work, let's, let's try sending you someone who does and see how you fare with that. Because it's easy to complain that you're not getting, you know, the right partner and so on and so forth. And now you got to watch, you know, 3,000 tarot videos and you watch all my tarot videos, honey. And you, you're, you're agonizing over this person and that person and this and that. Now the universe is saying, you know what, just for kicks, let's actually send you somebody that makes sense. Let's do that. Yeah? Are you prepared for it? That's the first question the universe is asking. Have you been prepared? By the way, this person is going to be different culturally from you, foreign in some way. You two are going to be from almost opposite sides of the world. Um, wow. All right. Well, so someone from your past is returning. I'm obligated to say that. You know, um, I think this person has had their eye on you. Um, you know, some of you don't want to hear that. You're like, oh, I don't want somebody from my past. I have to say it because I feel the energy and I see the card. Um, I do think that somebody thinks about you 24 seven. You haven't left their mind in the way that you think you have. So that's a, that's a really, really interesting message for you. I think some of you think, oh, yeah, no, copy that person. I've left that person's mind. Yeah, no, you have not left this person's mind in the way that you would assume that you have. Because that person is certainly still thinking about you and certainly still showing up. This person feels like you have been tough to um, appeal to and that this situation has weighed on them more than they would ideally like. If they have an opportunity to ensure that this situation doesn't weigh on them in this way, I think they will take that opportunity. This, oh, this person is aching also to speak to you. Oh man, what in the world? Okay, now they're just groveling. Now they're just groveling. They're saying, you know, my oh my, they're sad without you. It's something that has sat in the middle of their soul for a long time and if you're sitting right next to this person right now this person is understanding more and more that communication and resolve are what really make a soulmate a soulmate is not somebody who is absent whom you pine after who is never there who's a figment of your imagination whom you can't introduce to your friends whom you can't post anywhere not even a, in a private group because oh they're so private you know, whom you can't show off, whom you can't claim, whom you only have phone conversations with and whom you have long drawn out dramas with. No, that's not a soulmate, boo. I don't know who told you that. I don't know what movie you watched. 
That's not a soulmate. A soulmate is somebody who is present, who communicates, who talks, who chats, who holds you, who does physical, actual activities with you in person and sits you down and has healthy conversations with you, not pretends that, oh, something just happened. A conflict just happened. Let's just ignore it and continue to be unhealthy. No, that's not what a soulmate is. A soulmate will hear you. And the universe is churning someone who will hear you, Libra, because you have not been heard. You have somebody who is very much into their accomplishments showing up. This person cares about what they accomplish. They care about how they impress or not. And they stand by their work. They stand by who they are in this world. They're very uh, uh, confident of that. Now, the, with the Eight of Cups showing up and Ten of Cups at the bottom, I do have to say, I mean, I know some of you want somebody new, but I do have to say that this is somebody that you must have already been involved with on some level. Uh, this person seems to me like they walked away or turned their back when you needed them. Um, and now they're realizing that turning their back when they're needed is not exactly ideal. That is not the way to do connections. Uh, for some of you, they were literally forced to turn their back because there was somebody else or something else or someplace else involved. Because of that distraction or those detractors, this person realized it was better to kind of step back, stay away, and not cause any trouble. Now it looks like the universe is turning things around and saying, boop, there's a restart button to be pressed. The Ace of Pentacles showing up there. Somebody wants to restart things and maybe take another shot, see how things go if they simply communicate more because that was lacking. You also have somebody who ghosted you showing up here and saying, you know what, if you give me another chance, I will make this return with that Knight of Cups energy. Uh, it's very complicated. Your reading is complicated because... Um, it will really, really depend on whether or not you are in the mood for the BS. You know, I see somebody who is literally absent, gone, and having a hard time being gone from you, uh, saying, you know what, you, got, you had me at hello, really, but all of these things transpired, and now they need to work on communication and speech and saying how they feel, and especially during conflict, right? This person stressed you out a little bit. I think you got a little too carried away with this person, a little bit too much in your mind. You sent this person messages to which they did not respond. Uh, you tried to be the person reconciling, the, uh, push that reconciliation. You got a cold shoulder. You got left out in the cold. And so now you're really, a lot of that energy went to yourself. You figured, you know what, I'll cut you off. You don't get to cut me off. I'll cut you off. Uh, I see a lot of you showing up in your reading with the Queen of Swords and the Justice energy and you just taking your time to evaluate people before you let them back in. Good on you, Seven of Wands energy, sort of keeping out anything that doesn't serve you. I think you're very hell-bent on doing that. Um, some of you are going to be moving forward from this from anything that's dead end, you will move forward from that. I see you possibly moving um, and taking control of your life. Um, possible new opportunities. <laughs> Freaking heck, what kind of crazy ass reading is this? Why is, you know, there's somebody from your past who doesn't, who isn't, who will not, is refusing to let you go in this reading. It's very, it's complex. You guys deal with complicated situations. I was applauding you. I was saying, yeah, go ahead and move forward if you need to. But there is a closure issue and too many cycles have gone, gone past. And somebody still seems to want to approach you here with a Knight of Cups. So, you know, because the thing is you two have a connection. As much as you've tried to keep them out, um, I think if this person were, if they came correctly, I think you would be open to having that conversation because it's easier for you to just get along, you know, um, than not. It's just maybe, and for some of you, maybe this person was already priorly committed or married, yeah, um, but you find them very beautiful. They find you very beautiful and or handsome. And it's it's something that is has been difficult to uh, read past in this um, particular reading it just seems like somebody, uh, you know, that you already know is planning to approach you. Um, and that's coming out in the cards. 
seems like, you know, with this history here showing up in the Six of Cups, this reflection, this nostalgia, you know, it's coloring your reading. So very interesting happenings for you, whether it's past, present, or future. We will see whether <laughs> some people rise from the dead or some people are done here as far as you are concerned. Okay, let's move on to Scorpio, yeah? Scorpio penultimate sign. Um, <clears throat> penultimate sign in my channel. All right, let's do Scorpio. The weather is so crazy. Scorpio, um, just heads up. I'm talking in a bit of a lower voice because I'm fasting. And I want to kind of strategically conserve my energy. So today we are just going over some predictions, past, present, or future. Kind of want to see what's happening in that room. So let's see what we pick up um, that's coming towards you and that you need to be aware of or prepare for. Why do you need to have your guards up? Somebody is asking already. I haven't even put this. Somebody said, why do you have to have your guards up, Scorpio? That's what I'm hearing. You have your guard up and you know that they tried and you know you're hard to read. It's not their fault. They're passing the blame. Let's see. Yeah, this, this person is like, wow, in and out in and out unstable like they're passing the blame to you um i do see someone approaching that is fair that's a fair argument to make with a knight showing up and that person could be very passionate could be very great really for you in terms of spicing up your life but um in some cases with this knight of pentacles showing up you could be torn because while you appreciate the joy, the fun, the laughter, the passion that you could be getting from someone's energy, a lot of you are going to be faced with multiple options, another night sort of presenting to you a reflection of yourself and saying, if you had these options, this is literally the options card, if you had these options, whom would you pick between somebody who is exciting or someone who is loving and a little bit more your speed, you being a water sign? Or is it really for some of you that you don't want somebody who's like you? You want somebody who's different. And that is why you keep attracting a certain type of person. This person, though, is showing up solo, single, independent, even if you're with them in marriage. It shows that they like to operate solo or feel like they're by themselves and operating solo independently right now outside of the bounds of this connection and that, and that they do not need it to survive, but they miss you when you're gone. They miss you when, you know, things happen to cause chaos. There's a, there's a sad sense here that, you know, some of you feel like this was the one who got away or your person feels that way. It's very sad. It's like the, there was opportunity here for growth and for passion and for heat. And somebody acted a little bit too detached. And as a result of that, you know, something slipped through someone's fingers here. If you don't have somebody, um, you want to be careful that someone is not just coming out of a relationship or a connection. Because for some of you, yeah, that has been the issue. The reason why you were telling them, why do you have your guard up? Or they were telling you, why do you have your guard up? Is because the recency of that connection was still there. Someone who had just recently come out of a connection and they're dealing with that. So yeah, heartbreak, recent breakup showing up just to confirm that. Three of Swords energy popping itself into the center of the reading and saying, Sometimes it's okay to give people time to heal. Um, again, what I see coming towards you is um, a choice. Lots of choices. More than one choice. Multiple choice. Are you going to go with the right option? The cars are saying, use your head. Use your logic. Don't use your emotion. 
because it's a catch-22 with you. You're tired of boring people who are only logic, but then you're scared to use just your intellect because you're scared that you'll attract someone who's boring. I think, you know, depending on your age and stage, you have something to look forward to here. Yep, just said that and it came out because I could feel it. I think it's best to go with someone who's more mature. Okay? Just end of. But it's not about me, it's about you. It just seems like your cards are trying to point you there in that direction because they're saying, you know what, the way whomever it is you might have in mind acted, your cards are disagreeing that that was the best way. They're, they think it was childish. They think it's time now to sort of heal and, and go with somebody who's a lot more healing than somebody who would break your heart. This person, yeah, doesn't give you this full cup. So I see two options for you. Again, splitting, right? You had two knights, now you have two kings. You will have an opportunity, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, to pick again, what, what did I say, between your emotions and your mind. Who or what will do it for you? Um, lots of options and lots of conversations. Um, again, the options card showing itself, even though I put it back 5,000 times. So that is your theme here, Scorpio. Um, I don't think you will be left with just one thing to think about or one person to think about. Um, some of you have recently been uh, parents or dealt with somebody who is a parental figure and uh, that's been a lot of stress disaster there could have been a breakup shakeup or chaos between the two of you others of you are experiencing some age differences or maturity differences between you and the people you pick which leaves a lot of times you feeling like you are alone in this yeah single solo card coming right out and you're in your healing phase right now yeah i just said that look at that yeah you're coming into that healing, coming into that reflection and reconciliation that you need to pick yourself back up again and get away from all this drama. Because somebody here is definitely a source of drama and has other people interested in them. So it sways the way they behave. What you want to do now is uh, pick yourself up, like I said, for Cups Energy, because you're feeling a little bit left out in the cold. Some of you are going to wear that Freakum dress and get your person to pay you some attention, get naughty here. Yeah. You need a little bit of fire, and I know that's why um, you're drawn to certain types of people, because they bring the fire. But uh, the universe is saying that coming up soon is that some of that is gonna be shifted around, you're gonna have options. Uh, perhaps your options will lead you right back to saying, no, I'm, I want my person, you know, flaws and all, but um, it's a real proposition here because your person has shown you that they are capable of, you know, breaking your heart and making you bear the brunt of things, especially when, um, when the going gets tough. So um, take your time, you know, if you need to, because the universe is already w working on your behalf. It's taking you from a place where, you know, even if you have to be single, solo, independent, for a little bit, it will shake up. You see, you have a lot of major arcana cards, so you're gonna have some shakeups, you know? These are all major arcana cards, as above, so below. Major life force changes coming anyway. So whatever you decide right now, it's, it's gonna pale in comparison to where the universe is going to shake you up and place you in so that you can heal and come to terms with, you know, whom you're meant to be and whom you're meant to be with. All right, so let's keep it moving, guys. Let's keep it moving. Uh, we just have Sag left. Let's do Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, how are you doing, kiddo? Um, listen, so my voice is a little bit lowered so that I can keep my energy reservoir, you know? I'm fasting at the moment, just to kind of, you know, to get into my fasting a little bit, 
even if it's just for today, just clearing my mind and getting into that fasting mode is something I decided to do. So I want to make sure I have enough energy. So I'm going to keep my voice low. Keep my voice low, low, low to the flow, flow, flow. Probably, okay. I'm already getting loud. See that? All right, Sag, let's do some predictions and see what's coming up for you. Um, whether past, present, or future, which person will come out and uh, what will that message say? Wow, okay. Lots of hot conversation. Really fast energy, multiple changes in your life happening all at once. I think you're going to hear lots of different sources of news from different people. Some of it will be really exciting. Lots of changes, communication with your person. Uh, for those of you who are single, you'll be talking to new people. And it's like, yeah, it's very electric. Um, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Four of Wands energy commitment is certainly in your cards with that Four of Wands energy. You could very quickly just fall for somebody and end up in a connection or a commitment out of nowhere. And you're like, wait, how did this happen? Yeah, it, it takes a lot to, you know, really get these serendipitous events from the universe. But sometimes it's by your not paying attention. It's like literally, I see you really not even paying attention. And the universe just saying, oh, boom, 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 commitment. Some in some cases, marriage, long term, you know, like just out of nowhere, one day someone sits you down, has this talk with you, and next thing you know, you've fallen. Um, so I like that kind of energy. Um, I, th I think you might be shy, which is really weird, or I think you might be attracting someone who is shy about it. Yeah, uh, really uh, recoiling from the uh, notion right now but when push comes to shove i mean if they want what they want they're going to go and they're going to get it this person is going to grab you and really light your fire spark your flames you fire sign you and um you know what well, i i think for some of you this person if you have somebody in mind um can be really conflicted about what to do with you particularly there's an authority uh, issue here. This this is a figure of authority or a parent of something of that sort with the emperor card showing. I think sometimes, you know, they can be really conflicted about hmm, how to approach you, how to make this, you know, really work and go in a direction that, you know, is still favorable and can lead to good results. So they, they think a lot and they, you know what, if if they appear to be guarded, blocked, or shy, like I was saying before, like don't fall for that too much. They're much more boss than they really appear when it comes to romance. I mean, when this person is locked and loaded, they, they can go. I mean, they can really go for what they want. So right now, though, um, you know, you're probably saying to yourself, how is this possible? This is a situation that sometimes gets stuck. But I'm predicting that it will roll ahead and give you something new to sort of think about and also choose from. Um, I feel that your person is strategizing. Like I said, I told you they were conflicted and that now I'm telling you that they are strategizing um, through that inner confliction about how to um, end one cycle with you and possibly begin another. So a lot of you, if you have a closure issue with someone where there's unfinished business, that's probably going to be turned right back around for your consideration um, by the universe because the universe says you are not done there. Um, I don't know if you would want that or not, but that is certainly showing up. Um, wow, Sag, you're going to have a romantic little time over here, little, little thing, thing, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your interests lie somewhere, and that's about to spark. Um, hmm. I think you're trying to make a decision, though. I t Oof, wow. Look at, look how that fell out. Who, who am I to get in the way of this? Yeah. You two are making this connection. You two are having this conversation. It's fast coming. I think it's faster than you might be able to control. I think you're still thinking that you can control this, but this will probably hit you and come and excite you in a little bit with all this, you know, fire and water energy sort of mixing together. Some of you could also be attracting, you know, I mean, there's, a lot, there's every sign here. There's air, there's you know, there's fire, there's water, there's, you know, all of that. There is even, uh, there aren't any pentacles. Well, there's Virgo showing up here, but 
not any concrete pentacles just yet. Um, what you will, uh, well, as soon as I say that, the pentacles come out, which is why I never call out any signs. I think it's useless. Um, first, okay, so I will point out that your love life has not always been in order. I think sometimes you have liked to attract disaster so that you can clean it up. And the cards are telling you if you want to grow up, I don't care if you're 78 years old, you have to stop attracting projects that need fixing or vice versa. At some point, the fun comes to an end and some maturity is in the works here, right? Especially in the middle of this reading, maturity. So you're moving on, like I, I tell you, from one stage of your life to another, and the chariot will take you there, the spiritual Uber. Um, and you're getting rid of toxicity. Some of you, I actually, I'm saying you're getting rid of toxicities, that's if you want to, but this is split. Some of you will get rid of it and you will cut it off with that sword, even though that's not your sign, that's just the energy. Others of you are actually going to lean into it even more. Mm -hmm. Yep, I said it. You're going to lean into it even more. You're going to either repeat the same cycle, right? The same toxic cycle, because you enjoy it. Let's be fair. Let's be real. Um, or you're going to try to see if you can spark something new in your life that gives you a new outcome. So the universe is letting you decide because it says, you know what, Saj, I know you like that crazy. I know you like it. I know you like it. So I'm going to bring it right back around as the universe often does, brings it right back around whatever it is that's pending and whatever closure issue that you're dealing with, it will bring it right back around so that you can make a decision. This is called a test. The universe will test you, and I'm not surprised to see this in the exact same position. Two, three, two of wands, energy, make that plan. Give Sagittarius that choice to decide whether or not Sagittarius will grow up and grow past something or still remain in it. And a lot of you it is predicting that, uh, well, you like what you like, and you might still remain in something. Others of you, well, the emperor is also coming out and saying, well, some of you will actually grow up. Some of you will mature. Some of you will take this opportunity that the universe will present to you. I don't know in what form, but I told you that it is going to be very quick, very fast. It's going to present this opportunity to you. It's going to roll around with this wheel of fortune and it's going to say to you, hey, are you ready to mature? Do you want to take this uh, maturity thing here or do you want to remain stuck? It's going to present that. It's going to split it just like these two of wands. And you will say, all right, I'll, I'll either use my mind or use my sense intelligence and I will think about all the toxicities or patterns that have not worked for me that have been very unstable. Um, and I will move forward. Or for a large por portion of you, which is why I guess you'll be on this channel for a minute, for a significant portion of you, I think you will say, you know what? I'm going to give this uh, lesson another chance, right? Even though my heart is broken and I know the heartbreak that comes with this, I think you're going to say to yourself, I'm not ready to grow up. I want the love that hurts a little bit because it's teaching me. It's still teaching me. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you after that choice. All right. Sagittarius, thank you so much for you know being my trooper, my last sign not least sign and i will catch you guys some other time bear with me and my lack of animation today i am fasting all right let's see if we can upload this now <laughs>